Hey everyone, we're here checking out the alternative living situation here in Uliwa. And this kind of looks pretty interesting, actually. This, um, this tent that is kind of up high. I see someone is playing the guitar. I gotta stop doing this, you guys. I was thinking the other night, I used to be a school teacher. So that is um, interesting and cool. Okay, no blue tarp. You're getting points for no blue tarp. Okay, here we've got our little Himalayan pop-up across from the propane farm, which is across from another propane farm. All right, baby. Let's do it. Let's see what's going on. Early evening. I always see somebody kind of peeking through there. It's kind of cute. Is that like the little portal? The little portal in to the little inside world there? I got somebody kind of looking at me there. I didn't want to bug him. But I kind of wonder what you see when you look through there. What, what do you see? What, what's going on everybody? And who's making money from this? Somebody is making a fortune. I think I heard they charge $5,000 per house. <laughs> And these poor folks are living in these places that are worth probably about five bucks. And somebody's getting rich off of it. This is all by design. Generations, you know, probably three generations of mega brainwashing and soft genocides and everything else under the sun and now we've got you know it's nice out today but the rains are a coming I was looking at um, Las Vegas footage someone who drives around there and it seemed a little more forgiving in this in this kind of turning weather. We're lucky it's sort of holding now, but the rains, they will a be a coming. I still don't understand that board up ahead, everybody. It's public. It's owned by the public, but all that goes through there are logs from Warehouser. So, um, I'm not sure how it benefits us, except that we pay taxes for it and we pay for weird equipment and we pay for people who are really secretive to work there. I don't know if the birds are picking up or not. It's kind of a wild flight of birds there. Anyway, much, much love from the base of the base of the Puget Sound. 